What's up, dude? This is Nir from NoviSign Digital Signage. And today I'm going to show you what to do with a new Fire Stick TV. This is an Amazon Fire Stick, and I have a plenty of these, starting with this one. And this one is Fire TV Stick. I have the Lite, I have the Max, like you see here. So I have a couple of them. I'm going to show installation step by step from the beginning starting with unboxing these special dongles. Let's start with this one. I already cut it here so I can open it. And let's see what is inside. Okay. I have a remote control and I have all this. This is the dongle itself. This is the Amazon Fire TV stick. I have a few more things here. I have this extender cable, so I'll be able to just to put it here, make it a little bit longer, but I'm not sure I really need that. Let's put it here. And, oh, this is important. Instructions, manual. And lastly, I have this part of the power supply, which is connected this way. This goes to the AC-DC and the other side, which is a micro USB, goes directly into this socket, just right here, where we see power. Now you don't have a place, you don't have an, uh, anywhere or any way to connect a mouse into this one. So the only way to control it is going to be with this remote control. Let's take it out. Just like that. And of course we will need to apply a couple of batteries just right here. Okay, so let's start. Power cord is connected to the AC-DC and I'm actually connecting it this way. Now the dongle has power. Now in order to connect it to a TV display, a screen, you have an HDMI cable, but this is HDMI male and this is HDMI male. So you cannot connect them to one another. That's why I have this special adapter, which you see female to female. So I'm going to put it just right here like that oops this one doesn't help me here okay so i added this one it's a female to female adapter because otherwise there is no way to connect the amazon fire tv stick to the hdmi cable so i must purchase that separately because it doesn't come in this box and now let's take a look at the screen now it's going to give me instructions, step by step, what to do. Now I have the remote control, I have the TV, and it tells me to press, um, to press the play in order to move on. So let's wait till it is in English. Okay, now I need to choose the language, so I'm going to choose English, United States. Okay. And that's it now set up with fire tv app or set up with remote i'm going to use this remote control there's a way to do that with the fire tv app on your smartphone but let's do that the old traditional way using this remote control so i'm going to press it like that and now i need to connect to the wi-fi because there is no uh, ethernet socket in this uh, Fire TV stick, so I must connect through the Wi-Fi. So I'm going to choose this one, which is called Novi Lab AP. Okay. And I'm going to put the password. Okay. Now I'll press the connect. And let's see now it's connecting to the Wi-Fi network, which I have here. See, connection successful. All right, that was 
Second step, after language and network, now it's going to check for updates. Now, it depends when I bought this Fire TV stick. If I bought it some time ago, probably it will have to make its own updates, download latest software, firmware, whatever it needs, and that might take a little bit of time. So let's wait for that to finish and then we'll continue. Okay, after boot, after downloading everything, after boot, now you can see that now it's updating everything which has been downloaded till now, all the gap between the time which you bought the Fire TV stick and to the installation time. That might take a couple of more minutes, so let's wait. Okay, so now we're back to the same place. Set up with remote or set up with Fire TV app. I'm gonna choose remote. Okay, I'm pressing the enter button here. And now it's doing the same process, but all right, now you can see finishing updates. Looks like it, it's, it's been going twice, but it's not really, it just needs, it's kind of wrapping up. And let's wait till it's up and running again. Okay, so I like to use my own existing Amazon account, so I'm going to press this one, the big central button. And now I can either scan a QR code with my smartphone or just log in from somewhere, anywhere, like my smartphone, like my laptop to Amazon and then just use this code. So what I'm going to do is this, I'm going to do something different, I'm going to press those three lines, see this button? And this allows me to type my Amazon login ID. So I'm going to do it just right now. So now after typing the password and the username, of course, it's been registering and it even knows my name. Okay, so let's press the continue. I'm pressing again this button. And save Wi-Fi passwords to Amazon. Mm, not sure I want to do that. I'll choose no. And now, restore Fire TV. I don't want to restore it. I'll skip it. Let's move on. Preparing your remote for setup. Okay. Now, what brand of TV do you have? Now, that depends on my TV, but uh, let's see what are the options. See that I have a lot of options. Many, many options. Probably it supports some kind of extra feature, depends on your TV. Um, so I'll just take the Amazon Basics, maybe. Okay, now we're playing music. Okay, I'm pressing next. And let's go to the next step. Okay, now I'm supposed to toggle the volume up and down. So I'm going to do that. I have these two buttons here. Let's say yes. And that's it. Let's go to the next step. Optimizing. Okay, now we're in. Now it's offering me to do some uh, registration, prime free for, for 30 days. I'll choose the not now. And Hopefully this will take us to the home screen of the Amazon Fire Stick. Still loading. Okay, so still other choices. I will choose no parent control because this is an office. No need for that. I'll say skip. I don't need any subscriptions at the moment. 
because I'm using this for digital signage, not for watching TVs. Now, last thing, some guidelines. I'm gonna choose Got It after reading all this. And ask me again, who's watching the TV? I'll choose myself. Because it also has the ability to change the profile. And now I have it up and running. This is the home screen of the Fire TV. Okay, so we got the home screen. Now I'm going to use this remote control in order to find the NoviSign app. So I can go to the App Store. This is the Amazon App Store where all the apps are. And from here, actually, I can go to search. I go to search, then I'm in the search text box. I click it. And this is how I get the soft keyboard. So I go to NOV sign. And then I go back here and press the enter button. And then I get the NoviSign app. You see, this is the NoviSign app. I'm going to press again on the enter key and this is what I see I can download that you own it let's do it like that and now actually it starts started downloading you got the app that means the app is here I have this OK button and now you can see it's installing okay that might take a couple of moments and once the app is installed, I can open it. Now you see it. it has changed to open. I'll press it again to open the app. And here is my app. Okay, then again, I need to put my username, also type my password, then press login. This will give me access to my account where I can see all the screens which I already pre-made. Uh, however, I have this default screen. I'm going to show you this one. I just need to remember that I need to check this checkbox, which says Start Player Automatically. Okay, I just move with this round button to the left, right, top, and bottom. And then I bring the focus to the Go button, and I press Enter. Now, this will make sure that the app starts automatically every time the Fire Stick reboots or after power failure and things like that now what you see is that the app is downloading all the content of this screen and it starts playing so welcome to NoviSign I can put any screen which I have on my NoviSign account that's it very very simple Fire Stick Amazon Fire Stick